Roger? Yes, it's your girl Rina K once again. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. And if you, it's your first time to watch me, please subscribe, like, comment, and do not forget about that notification bell. You see, I told you, and today, today is a uh, Thursday, and this is how I decided to. This is how my evening is. I decided to go to Namgongo. It's a Namgongo Matters Catholic something church. So I'm here to see these matters. So. As I told you that I'm here to be traveling Africa with you guys and I wanted to show you Uganda because Uganda, we lost very many people here in Uganda so that's why I'm here and uh, this is one of the places where one of the places in Amgongo Church so I'm going to move you around and see these martyrs, how they died, how they were cured man, it was mysterious man, way it was really really so I love you so much Let's go. Uh, my tour guide is coming. I'm going to move with him. So just stay tuned. That's How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. I'm by name is Kavarundi Rina. Nice to meet you. And I'm Jim. Lubega, Lubega Jim. Lubega Jim. Mm. Ah. So how is it here, Rina? I've heard of many, many people like Mata. Is it Mata as well? Mata's. Uh, this is Uganda Mata's Catholic train. Mm -hmm. But there is another site for the Anglicans. Mm -hmm. At the Anglican site, you continue, mm -hmm. is just in front there. And where you, the Anglicans. You first get out? You first move out, then you continue. Mm -hmm. And the Anglican site, they sit, they sit, uh, they were given 48 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, now that's where 20, 25 martyrs were killed from 12 Catholics, 13 Anglicans. Mm -hmm. They were burned together. And ashes were buried within one, one grave. So ashes are still there? Uh, in one grave. And they were not separated. This is a, an Anglican or a Catholic. Mm. They are buried together. Mm. Now we are going to move and see how the martyrs were killed. Mm -hmm. The ones that were killed on the way coming to Namgongo. Mm -hmm. We are going to start with the same. So these ones who are here, uh, uh, those are the martyrs who are killed when on their way. On their here. way here. Mm. But where the church is or the basilica. The mm. name Basilica means Kingdom of God. It is a honor. Give it to the church. We are going to have a look at it. Mm. But for it, where it is constructed, that is where the leader of the martyrs was killed from St. Charles Ranga. Mm. On 3rd of June, mm -hmm. 1886. He 1886. Was, uh, he was wrapped mm. in the wrist. I'm going to show you how he was killed mm -hmm. and he was burnt alive. Oh dear. Uh, these, martyrs, uh, these martyrs were killed on the orders of a king called King Mwanga II. Mm. Reasons why he ordered the martyrs to be killed when his father, King Mutesa I, invited the missionaries, mm -hmm. there are two groups that came, one from England, those are the Church Missionary Society, 1877. Mm -hmm. White fathers came from France in 1879. Mm -hmm. When they came, the king who invited them didn't last for long, he died. But before that, let me mm. cut you, let me first cut you. Mm. Uh, how did you learn this? We do a lot of research. Uh, you did research? And I'm an archaeologist. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm right. an archaeologist. That's my area of expertise. Ah, uh, but you also say Catholic. But for someone to get a job here, they don't consider your religion. I'm a oh. Catholic, but the, at times they consider your, your you the brain yeah, uh -huh. or the, the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You have on something. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I understand now. So, mm. I've been talking about the coming of the missionaries, mm. St. Charles Ranga. Mm. The reason why mm. St. Charles Ranga is very famous among the matters mm. or the, the reason why his name is common mm -hmm. he was the leader of the matters now but when the the, the, the leader saint charles ranga Saint-Charles ranga, ranga. Mm. Uh, he was the leader of the matters mm. but when the two groups came one from england the church mission society white fathers from france mm. the and king uh, who invited them mm. died and his son took over king Mwanga the second mm. some of the reasons why king Mwanga ordered the matters to be killed mm. It is because when the missionaries came, yeah. they were emphasizing monogamy, and our king was practicing polygamy. When the matters were set in the Lord's ah, mm, prayer, mm, mm. It, it also had a verse that was saying, let your kingdom come, something which scared the king. He thought that they wanted to bring in another king. <laughs> and also, he thought that they are going to overthrow him. Yeah. And also, Christ was preaching about king of kings. Uh -huh. That's another reason why the matters so were killed. Like, it's like you're making him to... Go down, eh? And there, there are going to be another king. Uh -huh, coming in. Yeah. Uh, then they another. Uh, then uh, uh, another reason 
when the missionaries came, mm. they also declared the Sunday to be a public holiday that no one is supposed to work on Sunday. Mm. Yet before the coming of the missionaries, a Sunday was a normal day. But after the coming of the missionaries, it was declared a public holiday, something which annoyed the king. Mm. So we are going to move closer and have a look at a saint called Saint Joseph Mukasa Barikudembe. Uh, he was kid from town. There is a market called Owino Market. That is where St. Joseph Mukasabari Kudembo was kid from. The head was chopped off. His head was chopped off. And Catholics pray through saints. This so is... So this is how they, this, they first tied him? He was tied and he was cut from Owino Market. But right now... They got a tree like this one. So this is how they killed him. Eh, but in Owino Market, mm. there is a church named after him. Mm -hmm. That is where he was kid from. Uh, this is a patron saint for politicians. Because he used to question the king. And in Buganda, it is a crime to question the king. Now we are going to see the one who was killed by the king himself, Saint mm. Denis Sebuguao. The one for. That was king to kill him himself. That one why was. Did he, why did the king kill, kill him uh, himself? Himself. Mm. The king was annoyed. Because. And he was near. These matters used to work. They used to work in the Paris. Mm -hmm. By the time he wanted them to serve him, mm -hmm. most of them had gone for prayers, mm -hmm. something which annoyed him. Mm. Uh, so when they on their way back, mm -hmm. the king got annoyed, picked up a spear, and he speared Saint Denis Sebuguao. Saint Denis was good at music and playing musical instruments. Mm -hmm. People who do music, mm -hmm. people who, who play musical instruments, mm -hmm. are the ones that play through Saint Denis Sebuguao. Okay. Uh, that one was killed by King Mwanga himself. But surprisingly, mm -hmm. when you read the aftermath, what happened after? Mm -hmm. The king repented and converted, and the king was baptized Daniel. Wow, he that repented. was really good. Uh, there is always room so to this, change. This is a... Saint, Saint Denis Sebuguao. Saint Denis. The one who was killed by the king himself. is a patron saint for musicians and choir members because the boy was good at music. He was killed at the age of 16. Oh dear. 16 years. Now, 16 years. Uh, now from here, we are going to see Saint Andrew Kagwa, the one for teachers, cut kids and families. So he was a teacher? No, he was not a teacher, mm. but was good at converting or inspiring others to convert ah, into okay, Christianity. Okay, okay. Catechists, mm. these are teachers who teach religion. Oh, then yeah. the teachers, the ones that teach the schools, then Put families. Like Sierra e. Not only Sierra E. Mm. Okay, Catechists, these are teachers who teach religion. Then real teachers, the ones that teach other subjects, they also mm. pray through him. Then families, they pray through him. St. Andrew, mm -hmm. he was tied on a tree mm -hmm. and he was cut then after, they left him to bleed. In, in, a, in a place called Munyonyo where he was killed from, there is a church. And that church was also declared a basilica. The name, the name in Munyonyo is called Munyonyo Basilica. One, uh, the Munyonyo up, Shrine. Up, I think up. Know, yes. uh, now I that know. one, it was declared a basilica 2019. And the I name basilica means kingdom of so God. It's a honor given to the church. It's where um, St. Andrew... Kagwa was, Kagwa was, was killed. killed from. I know that one. Uh, St. Andrew, he was tied and he was cut. Then he lost a lot of blood. Uh, they, 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 mm. cut, they, they cut him everywhere. The arms. The arms. Uh, and even other parts were cut. Though, even when you happen to visit the Munyanyo Shrine, mm. on your way, to, on your way, on the, main, on, the main, on the main entrance of the church, there is a sculpture which, has, which resembles that one, when one arm is removed. Yes, so teachers, cut kids' families are the ones that pray through him. After wow. Saint Andrew Kagwa, mm -hmm. we are going to see Saint Posian Ngondwe, a patron Saint, Saint Posian Ngondwe. Saint Ngondwe. 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 Uh, he's a patron saint for he's a patron saint for policemen and those in the military. Mm. He was speared through the heart. Saint Posian. They speared him through the heart. Yeah. Uh, but the day he was killed, Saint Posian, he was tied on a rope with the Muslim called Abu Aziz. But Abu Aziz survived, he's among the survivors. How did he survive? The reason why he survived, it has been alleged that the Muslim, Abu Aziz, his case was minor, that mm. he had stolen a cow and the king saw it as minor, then they spared him, because the major case was religion. After St. Posian Ngondwe, we are going to see the one for, a patron saint for money, saint of finance, banks, treasurers, finance, mm. the pre-through saint, Anthanathias Bazekuketa. Mm. Two matters were killed from Owino Market. Barikudembe and St. Anthanathias Bazekuketa or St. Antanas Bazekuketa. The head was chopped off. That is a patron saint wow. for finance, 
banks and, were, and treasurers. He was, he, was, he was killed by, like, they use uh, an, axe. an axe. He was axed. After this one, we are going to see the one who was killed from Old Kampala, Saint, Saint Matthias Murumba. Mm. Murumba is very famous because he was the oldest martyr. He was not a Muganda, he was a Musoga from the East. Mm -hmm. And St. Matthias Murumba, the East, that, those are the Vasoga. Yeah. Mm. And St. Matthias Murumba. So was, he was also like, uh, his name eh, was a big, because Murumba. Mm. You said, uh, you had said that uh, some of the martyrs, eh, mm. they were killed because of their names. Because their the names rebellious, their, their, yeah. or provoking names. Yeah. But Murumba is not provoking. provoking. Yeah. Among the provoking names, Bazekuketa, which means they have come to spy. Mm -hmm. There is Sentibuza Abaria, which means ask those who are there. When you make the direct translation in English. Yes. Then there is Mawagali, which means someone who is unruly or someone whom you can't rule. So this is uh, huh? Saint Matthias Mulumba, a, mm. a patron saint for families and chiefs. Arms and the legs were cut from Old Kampala. So near the police station in Old Kampala, or near the Gaddafi Mosque in Old Kampala, there is a church named after Saint Matthias Mulumba. Wow. After Matthias Mulumba, we are going to see Saint Gonzaga Gonza. Saint Gonzaga. Gonza. Uh, Gonz Gonzaga. Yes, Gonzaga was a humble boy. He was killed from a nearby town there. The place is called Kamuri, Kamuri mm. Road, on Aria mm. Now Saint Gonzaga was speared through the heart. He's a patron saint. He's a patron saint for prisoners, mm. travelers, and people in trouble. They pray through Saint Gonzaga. Uh, the artist to me, the artwork is a Munyankole from the West Coast of Okay. Uh, after Seth Gonzaga, we are going to see the last one. The reason why I'm saying the last one, mm. others are still under construction. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to see Seth Noah Mawagari. His name was Liberius. It means someone who is unruly or someone whom you can't rule. He was killed from Chinamitiana. And Chinamitiana, right now there is a church named... Af uh, named there is a church, mm. but the church is under Bishop Anthony Zwa. Mm. Uh, so the houses you're seeing, that is a police station for counter-terrorism. Is a police? Station for counter-terrorism. Counter-terrorism. The mm. guards, you saw the gate putting on black. Mm, mm. Up there, the command center, down accommodation, plus an armory for guns. And they said, Noah, Mawagali was tied on a tree and he was cut. And then after, they left his body to be eaten by bush dogs. Uh, it it, it being, the set Noah was good at art. So people who do art, the poor and technicians, are the ones that pray through Saint Noah, Mawagali. That's how he was oh, killed. Uh, then after here, we have it's some... Even the are, they're getting out. Uh, he was eaten by bush dogs. The stone-like structure, that's a grotto, but it means a cave. Uh, now we are going to have a look at the youngest so matter. Just... No, mm. this is just a visual aid depicting how the martyrs were killed, but no one was buried here. I've told you the ones no, we are I seeing. Mean, eh? mm. Why did they do this cave? The reason why they made a cave to beautify the place. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. And Catholics pray through. Always, a grotto is constructed where they can put an image of Mother Mary mm -hmm. or the image of a saint mm -hmm. because Catholics pray through saints. So grottos cover up saints or images of saints. Okay, not to be destroyed. Not to be destroyed, mm. but also it's oh, also... Not, huh? The way how people go to church, now we also pray through saints when they're in grottos. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And that's true. Now this side here, mm -hmm. we have some sculptures that depict how Saint Charles Ranga baptized Chizito. Mm. That explains to why Chizito has one name, because the youngest uh, matter he had, he had, yeah, he had 14 years Chizito. Mm. So the reason why Saint Charles Ranga is the one who baptized him, mm -hmm. it is because it was an emergency baptism, and that explains to why Chizito has one name, because after Saint Charles Ranga baptized in Chizito, mm. Chizito was killed. He was baptized on 26th May 1886 from Munyonyo. And after baptizing him, he was killed on 3rd of June 1886. It was a short period for his second name to be known. Yeah. That is the reason why Chizito has one name. Oh. Uh, after here, we are going to move to the pavilion mm -hmm. and have a look at the holy water. We also have a look at the sitting arrangement during Mata's Day. Oh, yeah. There how people sit. Mm. During... So, mm. this side here, this is the pavilion. 
pavilion. Where we celebrate Mother's Day from mm -hmm. on every 3rd of June of every year. Mm -hmm. People walk from different countries. Mm -hmm. They help people go to Rhodes in France for the pilgrimage. They how people go to Fatima in Portugal for the pilgrimage. They how people go to Guadalupe in Mexico for the pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. It is the same thing that happens here. So Even in Uganda. In Africa. So it happens in here. In Africa. So in Africa. But not, Africa they not, come not only Africans are the ones that come here. Others no, come from I mean, eh? other countries. No, yes, you call it pili? The pilgrimage. The pilgrimage. So in Africa, whole Africa, mm. it, this is the only pilgrimage. But also other people pay or they visit other sites. Like in Rwanda, there is Chibeho, where the image of Mother Mary appeared from. Mm. Also people go there. Mm. Even in other countries like in Israel, Jerusalem, always people go there. So here, this is what we have. So whenever yeah, people come... Mother Mary, I went mm. there when I was in Chibeho. Rwanda. Mm -hmm. mm. I was there. Eh, so mm. here, always people come here. People come from different countries. Mm. Whenever they come, the seating arrangement in the terraces, that's where the audience sits. Then you have Pavilion A for the president, the ministers, mm. Pavilion B for the religious. The reason why the religious sit behind, it is because in the church setting, lay people or ordinary people are not supposed to sit at the back of the main celebrant. That is the reason why they put the religious behind. Mm. Then Pavilion C for the choir and international delegates. Mm. The water, we take it to be holy because... It has been blessed by three pops. Mm. Uganda was the first country in Africa to host the pop and mm. the first in Africa to host the three pops. Mm. Then, when you make a photo from up, all the bridges on water, they mm. make a sign of a cross. Yeah. Under each pavilion, it has its own toilets. Under the highland, it has a toilet, a conference room, and a sacrist. Mm -hmm. Under the, the sacrist, that is a room where priests dress from. Mm. Anglicans call it a vestry. Anglicans call it a vestry. A vestry. A room where the, the religious people dress from. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Then the lights on the bridge, the Simbrace angels putting up arms. Oh, these are lights? The lights on uh, the bridge. Okay, okay. The Simbrace angels putting up arms. When you look critically here, this is the shape of the church. This is yeah, the shape yeah, of yeah. the church. But we are going to have a, we are going to have a look at it. So then the symbols of angels putting up arms. Mm -hmm. Uh, then the water will take you to be holy because it has been blessed by three popes. Mm. Pope Paul VI, Pope John Paul II and Pope Francis. I see, I see people taking this water. They carry it. The, in uh, bottles, jerry cans. Do they drink, them? Do they they drink that water? People do out of faith. They drink it. But the reason why it is green, the reason why it is green, mm -hmm. it has some green plants, it, 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 the algae, the green algae. Those are some mm -hmm. of the indicators that it is natural. Green mm. algae shows the naturalness of the water. Do you have algae here? That is the reason why they call the water. But it is only the base and the walls. Oh, okay. Uh, now we are going to see the point where we get it from. That shows the naturalness. Green algae can't survive in water that has chemicals. That mm. shows that the water is natural. Mm. But this is a man-made lake. Some of the characteristics of the man-made lake it has to have an inlet and an outlet. So inlet, it has springs, outlet, it has holes on the walls that take outside the excess water. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to touch the holy water. Then after, we have a look on how St. Charles Wanga was killed. Mm. And we end with the church or the basilica. We've got the basilica. Mm. Okay. So like, I was asking you, like, um, can you tell these people? Okay. <laughs> it will go in, like, I'll be asking. Because... Someone taking such water and you drink it, do you? Can they get sick? That is holy water. So you can't Many get people sick. have been taking it out of faith. Whenever you do something out of faith, of mm. course it has to work for you. Okay. Uh, but it is natural. It mm. is just natural water. Mm. Uh, most people use it for washing hands and the face. Some, mm. some do out of faith. Mm. But most of them use, use it for washing hands and the face while making a wish. Mm -hmm. Or while making a prayer, others carry it home mm -hmm. and they use it at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is good. Eh? Mm -hmm. And the light, the place is very big, mm -hmm. so nice, beautiful. Okay, for the man, I, I, I didn't really talk about the uh, behind it, but I just went there. The what? For Rwanda, you said it's called what? Chibeho. Chibeho, where are... the image of Mother Mary appeared from. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where we get the holy water from. There is a pump that pumps it here. So always people oh, come. Oh, so 
I thought yeah, that people go in there to fetch. I uh, know. So they just come here. There is a pump that uses electricity mm -hmm. and we get it from here. So always people come and wash their hands mm. and also sprinkle some in the face while making a wish. You it only, has you been... Can, you do one hand or? Uh, all. You can use all. Mm. Then you make a wish. I make a wish. Mm. Or you pray for anything that you want, either protection, guidance, anything. Everything. Uh, like. Some of the indicators. Marriage. We are going to have a look at the church mm -hmm. or the basilica. Yeah. And I've told you that church was constructed in uh, 19, 1967 mm -hmm. up to 1975. Mm -hmm. It was a period of three. It was a period of uh, eight. Eight years. Mm. It was constructed by that company called Rocco. In full, it is Rora and Cora, mm. and it has been alleged their first project in Africa. It was that church. Oh. It was designed by a Swiss architect called Justus from a city called Zurich. The mm. reason why he chose such a design, he wanted to show how Africans build the grass thatched houses or the oh, traditional yeah. huts. Mm. So the dome is a symbol of a fire flame. The upper part is a symbol of a fire flame. Mm -hmm. The big pipes coming down, those are the pillars. There are 22 pillars, mm -hmm. each representing one Catholic matter. Sitting Who capacity died? is the ones that died. Mm. Each Catholic matter has a pillar. Wow. Uh, so it accommodates a thousand people. A but thousand? Uh, one thousand people. But because of mm. COVID, seats have been reduced to create mm. more spaces. And nowadays we also use the pavilion what on Sunday. What do you mean that, that can, uh, people can sit in the thousand people inside them? The church accommodates a thousand people. Wow. Uh, then it's really big. Each Catholic matter has a pillar. Mm -hmm. And inside the church, the ceiling, the seats, the doors, everything is made out of timber called Mahogan. But right now there is mass. And so, it. Mm, uh, why is it this one? Do people go there? I uh, know. When they're doing repair on the lights, that's, that's, th that's, where, where, they, they, that's where they climb from. They said we are climbing. Uh, no, no. <laughs> that is for the people doing. Uh, and renovation, yeah? uh -huh. and renovation. Uh -huh. uh, now we are going to see our last station mm -hmm. that depicts how St. Charles Wanga was killed. Mm. Uh, the pavilion for it, to, to, it only took four months to construct it, then the church took eight years to construct it. But, the same, but all, all the projects were made by the same company called mm. Rocco. In full it is Rora and Cora. It wow. is a, a Swiss-based company. Mm. Mm. Now we are going to see how the leader was killed, St. Charles Wanga. And the that one is they all. named over. Mm -hmm. So this aid here, that is a visual aid depicting how St. Charles Franga was killed. Mm. He was burnt alive, but not from here, from where the church is, where the altar is, and before mm. the church was not there. So where the church is constructed, that is where he was killed from. St. Charles was burnt alive from the legs up to the head on a slow fire because they wanted him to feel the pain. Mm. But when they're burning him, it has been alleged, he told the guards that it's like you're just pouring cold water on me when they're burning him. Mm. They even ordered St. Charles to be killed near that tree. The tree is called the flame tree. In, mm. in Buganda, whenever a dog dies, they throw it near that tree so that it doesn't smell. So they ordered to kill St. Charles near the flame tree, meaning that he was nothing. He was just like a dog. Like a dog. It was kind of an insult. Wow. Mm, that is all. Mm -hmm. I thank you for visiting Namgongo. Thank you very much. Oh, it has Uganda been a pleasure. Matters Catholic Shrine. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really a pleasure. And, uh, and I really, um, I would like to advise, I think, all Ugandans to be coming here. Because yeah, not only Ugandans, but, but the whole the, world. The whole world. You know that there are some mm. Ugandans who, like to me, it's my first time to be here. Mm. And see such wonders like these good things to learn. Yeah? And you're mm. just behind it, don't have any sense in Uganda. You know, so thank you very much, it's been a honor. And thank you for appreciating mm. and thank you for coming. You're welcome. Rajan? Yes, it's your girl Rinaka once again. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. And if you, it's your first time to watch me, please subscribe, like, comment, and do not forget about that notification bell. You see, I told you, and today, today is a uh, Thursday, and this is how I decided to. This is how my evening is. I decided to go to Namgongo. It's a Namgongo Matters Catholic something church. So I'm here to see these matters. So 
as I told you that I'm here to be traveling Africa with you guys, and I wanted to show you Uganda, because Uganda, we lost very many people here in Uganda, so that's why I'm here, and uh, this is one of the places, where one of the places in Amgongo Church. So I'm going to move you around and see these martyrs, who, how they died, how they were killed. Man, it was mysterious, man. Wait, it was really, really. So I love you so much. Let's go. I, my tour guide is coming. I'm going to move with him. So just stay tuned. 